Hello, hello, YouTube. This is Clor132 bringing you some Minecraft. I was, I will start off right now and say I was inspired to do a Minecraft Let's Play by Paul Source Jr. I will put a link to his page in the description below. Make sure you go check his page out if you haven't already. If you're looking at Minecraft, you probably already have, but just in case, go take a look. He's a great, he's amazing Minecraft person. That much I will say without a doubt. So, all right, let's get this started. I'm gonna do a new world. Just name it Clover YT for YouTube survival mode. Gonna play it on normal. Don't want to do drastic stuff. The way I am, it would probably get me killed if I did hardcore, and then the series would end very quickly. So we're gonna start off in this wonderful world of Minecraft. Saving chunks. That's always fun to save those chunks. They're very beautiful. I'm just kidding. I have no idea what they truly, truly look like. They're just play parts of the game. And snow biome. Alright. So, basic controls, movement, W, A, S, and D. Look around with the mouse. What you'll always want to do is look, is to collect some wood. To do that, you run up to a piece of wood and just left click holding it until it breaks and you get that little plip. And then there's your piece of wood. You know, do this so I can get all the tree. I wanted to go that way. So I'm gonna collect all these. I like to get around 10 to 12, somewhere in that range, for nighttime creation tools. And I think the reach you can reach four blocks high, and then you can't reach any higher than that. So once you get four blocks high, you can either, you know, if you want, you could you know look down, place it, and get more. But I am just gonna right now. I want to stay close to the ground. I want to get as many. I want to get about 10 to 12, as I said, and then I'm gonna get out of here and head on to the hiding place. Cause I like to start off. Now I've seen a lot of people. Some people start off in a hole. Some people start off in. They'll like dig a hole two or three down and then expand from there over the night. Me personally, I either will make my own myself a personally small cave or I will live in a tree for the first night of Minecraft. I think for the sakes of this video, seeing as I think it's easier to live in a smaller little like the cave thing, I think I'm gonna go for that. So I need to find a good area. Uh, just gonna have to give me a minute because I gotta find something. I kind of want coal. You know, I should just stay down that way. And if you fall more than three blocks, you'll take some damage because your hearts are the ones on the left. Your food bar is on your right. And yes, you do have to eat in Minecraft, or you will essentially die. Uh, I need some coal. And, you know, I can do without coal. But yeah, I tried making this video. Oh, there's some coal. So never mind. Uh, we'll uh, use that. But as I was saying, I had tried making another video, but let's just say I ended up very badly. I wound up having two creepers come at me immediately. But alright, so you open your inventory with E and then you put your wood, left click it, move it into your crafting spot. Wood planks. I'm gonna, since I've found some coal, I'm just gonna leave two for charcoal later. And now I'm gonna take my wooden planks, put it there, right click it to split it in half, and get some sticks. And I think about 20 will do for now. Put one of those away, then wood planks, four like that, and you get your crafting table. Your crafting table is what will allow you to build everything you need in Minecraft. So we're going to start off with a pickaxe, which is two sticks, then three planks across, and you can see it looks sort of like the wooden pickaxe itself. So, And now you left click, and you'll get, you'll attack the coal. You won't get the blocks, you'll get the little tiny piece of the pieces of the coal, like right there. You'll get that little piece. You can use that for torches, which we do need to light up the darkness. Because the darkness is the your worst enemy in Minecraft. So, let's see. How many pieces am I going to get? Eh, looks like I might get about 10 or 11. Oh, oh, this is going a little bit further back. So I might get more than that. What's moving? Okay. And I, I just want you guys to know now, whenever it comes to the dark areas, like whenever we go into the caves and, and stuff... When we find spiders, I am going to tell you right now, I am scared to death of spiders. I hate them so much. So, I might make some scared noises. That much I'm going to let you guys know now. 
And also, you'll want to collect some stone here, obviously, because stone will upgrade your weapons and everything you use, like this pickaxe, after I... I'm just going to use it get a few things. This will do. So now, in here, I'm going to make a few torches. So, I like to make about 12 for my first night. But you can make however you need. And so it's sticks, and then coal on top. And now I'm going to make a sword immediately, which is two cobblestone, and that. So your little stick there is kind of like the handle. The cobblestone makes the blade. And I'll make a cobbles or a stone axe. Two sticks, then the three cobblestone, like so. I'll make my stone pickaxe right now, just to get it out of the way. Put that there. And lastly, I like to make a stone shovel. So I have the essential tools, and then I'm going to use my wooden axe to get there. And now we are going to go over here. Let me think here. Just because I already want... I'm, I'm a big time adventure. I will get in here very quickly to look around. Looks like there's not much in here. Oh wait, nope, that might be something. So we're going to go up there. Oh, there's flint. Flint is used to make arrows when you make a bow and arrow later. And to do that, you'll need string, which comes from uh, uh, spiders. Yeah, spiders. There we go. That's what it is. Alright, I don't need this stuff. I mean, I might come back later to collect all this. Two pi you know, I'll just get a little bit right now. I'm just going to use my shovel. You'll want to use the right tool for the right job to get it done really quick. And for gravel, that is indeed some... Uh, a shovel will get gravel out of the way very, very quickly. So I would recommend if you get gra when you come to gravel, use your shovel. It goes by so much faster. And for the day, let's see, we get I th it's like ten minutes for daytime, ten minutes for night. So I'm gonna do up until dawn. It's probably really dark for you guys, so I'm, I'm gonna put a torch here so you guys can see better. Sorry if that got too dark for you. I do apologize for that. Alright, oh, well, looks like I got all that. I don't want to keep all this cobbles, or this gravel, so I'll toss that there. I want my torch back. Alright, now we're getting out of here. So, grab that torch. I got here. So you get ten minutes, so time management is essential on this first day. I got torches, I got basic weaponry, and now I need, I'm gonna go ahead and make me a shelter. You know what, what the heck, I'm going to stay down there where we dug our bit of coal area. So I'm going to light this up a little bit here. Torch there. Put another torch here, and then one more up here. This will be for my nightly... This is where I'm going to stay for the night. I'm gonna, actually, no, I'm going to stay on this side. I'm going to expand right here, so... This is where I'm going to stay for the night. For my first night in Casa de Minecraft. So, let's dig all this up. Now, what I like to do is just go about... Just start off with a two-high hole, and go in, dig as far in as you can. And I would suggest putting a wooden door... Ooh, iron! That's a nice start. Okay, but now, I would suggest putting a wooden door here, but as of Minecraft 1, I think, update 1.2, I think it was, zombies could knock down doors. Well, wooden doors. Iron doors, they cannot. So if you do get lucky enough, if I get enough iron here, if I get six, which I don't think I will. Nope, I only got a few pieces, but if you would have been, if you're lucky enough to get about six, you can make an iron door, which is just the left, like, the two leftmost rows of your little box on, of your crafting bench. Which I'm going to set my crafting bench here. And now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And if you just did two, that way you'd be able to get a, like, the two left sides. I'll show you in a minute after I get this. I'm going to go out here because I think I heard a sheep. Did I hear sheep? Yep, sheep. Sheep are good because you can get wool from them to make a bed, and there's only one here. So actually, I'm going to go make a furnace. This iron, I'm going to cook it. I, I'm, I know I'm doing it a little bit early, but hey. I'm, oh, oh, I threw my stone pick. I did not mean to throw that. Alright, 
So we're gonna go in here, crafting bench. We're gonna make a cobblestone, well, a stone furnace. Which is just like that, and it's just actually labeled furnace because it doesn't really matter if it's stone or not, it's a furnace. And then to do this, I'm gonna put one piece of coal and then put an iron ore. For every piece of coal, you'll get eight yield of whatever it is you're putting in. So if you put in. So no matter what, it's gonna be eight yield and then gonna be. Ooh, more! And then you're gonna be out of. Your coal will then fully be burnt up and you won't be able to use it anymore and it'll be completely useless to you and I actually think I have enough for an iron door but to use that iron door I'll have to you make a switch or a button I mean I think it is yeah button and I really don't want to do that right now I want to I'll get to that later on in the series so for now I'm gonna do shears I will do for a bed you go into your thing your little craft bench workbench two angled so you get shears now we're gonna go get that sheep I think I have the time yep nighttime is rising well I should say the sun is setting night is rising I'm gonna make me a quick escape route out of here just in case something were to happen where are you sheepy oh don't tell me the sheep ran away oh my sheep come back where are you I want you for your wool Crud. He's gone. Oh man, that sucks. I really wanted him for his wool. Alright, well, ne never mind. I guess we'll have to do with that do without that. I'm gonna put one torch here to signify a little like note, hey, this is your base. You need to come here. And I'm gonna put one on this side too. And it'll help keep the beasties away. There are a few enemies, which I'm going to try to cover, I think, in my next video, perhaps. So let's go ahead and block this. I'm just going to put dirt here. And make, you want to make sure you can do this to where they can't see you, because there are skeletons, and the skeletons can shoot you through that little hole. If you're, like, right here, they'll shoot you. And if you're even close enough and a creeper pop, plops right there, tss, boom! Now your front door is wide open for frontal assault by whatever wants to come in here. I mean, it could be spider, it could be skeleton, another creeper behind it, whatever it is. Something will come inside, and you, unless you're very well equipped at this early stage in the game, on your first night, you're more than likely not going to make it. So, we're going to chop this up, and then, I like, yeah, I like having a three high ceiling, like right here, because I'm slightly claustrophobic when it comes to this game, so I will do that out of my personal safety and such. So let me... And I wasted a few things. Crud. I'm already starting off bad. Let me put another piece of coal here. And... We shall burn that up. Now, let's see what else I can do. I'm gonna... Go ahead and make some more torches... for the night. So the essence of Minecraft is to... Th Build whatever you wish, be it a house, and I totally messed that up, come back. Okay, be it a house, or a mansion, whatever you want to build, it's your world, you play with it how you choose, and it's, it, that's basically all there is to it, really. And you know what, I'm going to go for it. Button. You take two, you need stone, so you just cook the stone like ever, like everything else. I think I'll toss in the wood there. Yeah, I'll use the wood to burn that up. Oh, it wood. That doesn't work out well. I'm going to put in a couple planks to burn the wood. Now, if I remember correctly, you'll have to give me a minute after I get these two. It should only take two pieces of stone to build the um, door. Or to build the thing. Yep, okay, there we go. One, on, one stone on top of one stone it makes you a button. Now, you'll need two buttons. One for the inside, one for the outside. Now, I am going to get one on that outside. But really quickly, the door. Six iron ingots for a good door that the zombies can't break down. Just like so. I mean, you can do it with the wooden planks, but if a zombie comes, he's going to get in. He'll bust down the door, it'll break, and then whatever he's got behind him will come in. So then your door. Now, take that. Now, what I prefer doing is having my door on the outside, so come out to here, face this, and it'll be on the closer side to you. 
button. I'm putting that outside. Now you'll have about one second. Yeah, it takes a minute. Uh oh, whoa, lagging. Okay. You get about a second to get back in your door before it closes on you. When it does close on you, you're going to have to press that button again. So you might want to do a pressure plate, which I will do later on. And let me know if I'm going like way too fast for you guys. Please let me know if I am. Because I don't mean to be, but if I am, I will slow it down for you guys. Because you're my viewers. What you need, what you guys want is key compared to what I want. Like I, I'm personally, I'm a fast guy. I, I move very quickly in Minecraft. I'm, I, I usually would move quickly, but this is kind of a, it's sort of gonna be a tutorial, but it's also gonna be a let's play to the end as well. So some parts I will fully explain, some parts I will not explain. And, but let me know if you guys would prefer me to do a full-blown tutorial. I'll, I'll do the tutorial. I will. Just let me know what you guys want in the comments. So let's go out here, see if we can find us some beasties after I get out the freaking door. Okay, I want to try to show you guys a little bit of the Minecraft world in the forms of enemies. Let's climb up here. Let's see what we got. Darkness, darkness. No creatures. I'm not finding anybody. Whoa. Thought, okay, nope, that wasn't moving. That's just stars. It's just stars moving. Alright, whoa, here's zomb zombies, hello guys. You just left click to attack them with your sword. Right click to block and you'll take half the damage you normally would. And if, just so everybody knows, if all of a sudden you hear a hissing sound, you're going to want to double tap your forward button, your W, more than likely if you're on default, and run. Because that is a creeper right behind you, about to s go kaboom and blow whatever you have near you up and take a lot of your health. Now, I need to I need to lay down some torches so I know exactly which way I'm going. I need to watch. Oh, spider! Spider, this is what I was hoping for. Ah, no string! Cheapskate! I'm, like I said, I'm a big adventurer. I will fight like crazy. Oh yeah, these guys have some smarter AI than before. Before you could do this and they'd and they'd never get you, but now... Where'd that skeleton go? Oh, there he is. If you jump and get a down strike, you'll get a double attack. Like a two-pointer. Oh, there's that sheep. Come here, sheep. Right-click on it with that to get your wool. And you'll get, like, you'll get more wool for shearing a sheep than just killing a sheep. Alright. Three wool is what you need for... to make your bed. And that's what I'm gonna go do now. I'm gonna make my bed... We are gonna get some rest, which will be nice and useful. So, let's see, I'm gonna put one more torch here, just for a full indicator. So now I've got a path this way to it. So let's go down here. I need three. Alright, so now we'll go in here, click get inside. Alright, now, with that door, nothing can break through. I'm completely impenetrable here. So, now we're gonna make a bed. One. Two, three. So, wool, then one, two, three. And you can kind of tell, you know, the little bottom part of it, and then you got your mattress. The legs, I don't know where the legs coming from, but hey, who cares? It's a bed, it's safety. Plop it down. Now, you want to plop it, the way it'll go, it'll go in front of you. Two, it takes two squares, and you'll need to. And you place down the. This end, the bottom, the, whatever you want to say, this, say this is. The, op the end opposite the pillow <laughs> you will place down in front of you and then the other part will expand from there. So now to sleep, all you do, you'll right click on it to sleep and then you will wake up in the morning, everything will be peachy and nice and you won't have any kind of problems from the nasties of the night. I want to try and get out the store again. So I want to go out there, I want to get me some string. Like I said, I move quick, I try and get stuff done. I want to get a bow before this video is over, which I'm not sure if I'll be able to do. Because I need probably two or three of those nice spideys to make my bow. Because bows require three sticks. Oh, spiders. Oh, yay, spiders. I might, I just might get it done. Come here, spideys. Come here, guys. Hi. 
Oh, yes, I might do it. I might get my bow before the night is over. Oh, crap, he hit me. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I got him. Yes, I've got enough. I've got enough. I'm gonna go make this bow, and then dawn is rising, so after this we're gonna be done. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, buddy. You're going down. I need food. Oh, no, creeper, creeper. If you sprint at him and hit him, you'll be fine. For the most part. Oh, no. Alright, there we go. Got some gunpowder from him. Alright, I'm getting back to base. I'm gonna make this bow, and then I'm gonna cut the video there. Tomorrow, like on the next video, we will include some, uh... Some ever so lovely... Is he still following me? No, he's not. Okay. On the next video, I will go look for some food. I might move my base a little bit outside, because that's more efficient. But, alright, a string. You will do, let me think here, string, 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 and then a stick, a stick, and another stick, and there we go. There's a bow. I've got one arrow, thanks to him. Now to get arrows, I will need some feathers, which I will get in the next video. So I show you a bow, I will show you everything, something else later. So there's my U.S. Marine. So leave a like, subscribe. And leave your comments in below and check out my other series. And once again, this is inspired by Paul Source Jr. He did give me this inspiration to make this, these videos, so I will send a put a link in the description to Paul Source Jr.'s channel. And I do appreciate anything you guys do. You know, leave a like, all that. So have a good day, and I'm out.